flash on iWeb. First, go down and uh, click the little plus sign so you can create a page. Blank page is fine for this kind of thing. Select that. So you'll have your blank page sitting there now. And this here is the flash file we'll be adding. Go up to the top, click insert, and then go down to HTML snippet. Okay, that'll open up a little window. Take the lines of, t of code that I have and just stamp them in there. Uh, the, and then change, of course, the width and the height and the name of your file. You'll have an ID and you'll have a, a value which is your SWF file that you have which is your flash file. Make sure that all of those are changed. There's two areas where you do height and width and there's two areas for each ID and two areas for each of the SWF files. Make sure all of those are changed and then hit apply and then that little window at the bottom that looks like the globe will suddenly change to the size of what you input it up at the top. This is now your flash window. You can move it around, place it anywhere you want. And then after that, you actually go over and grab your actual flash file and drop it onto the page somewhere. Now that'll show up if you leave it there. So you have to move it to some place where it can be hidden and then just control click and send it all the way to the back. And that way it'll be hidden behind everything else. It has to be imported to iWeb uh, when you hit publish and when it gets thrown up online all your files get thrown up there. That's the easiest way to get them to actually be thrown on the site is to hide it. And if you don't send it to the back it'll actually show up in front of your little flash window and now you can see everything works in flash. All the little flash codes everything that you want is up and running. All right. Hope this helps you out. I had trouble and uh, took a while to get all of this stuff figured out. So good luck.